the alpha of them and, and top guys. Hello, my name is Jennifer Burton. I'm the executive director of the Brainerd Housing and Redevelopment Authority. What is the HRA? We are actually a local unit of government. We were created by the city of Brainerd back in 1969. Our mission is to provide redevelopment and affordable housing opportunities to strengthen our neighborhoods. One of the main goals of the Brainerd HRA, probably for the past four or five years, has been the revitalization of downtown Brainerd. And for those of you who remember Ray Burnett, um, I first started um, my position back in 2011 and Ray Burnett was on the board. And every board meeting, he would say, Jennifer, what are we doing about downtown Brainerd? His passion was a convention center downtown Brainerd and he always talked about it for those of you who, who know him. So, although we've lost Ray, his spirit lives on, on, on our board, and we always kind of have our, our Ray Burnett. One of the things that the Brainerd HRA did um, back in 2015 is we participated in something that was called the Housing Institute. Um, the name should not fool you. One of the things that we could focus on was downtown revitalization. We put together a team of seven people, which was the most we could have, which was probably the biggest challenge because I think everybody was interested in, in revitalizing our downtown. We had members from Bladeck, from the City of Brainerd, from the HRA, from Brainerd Restoration, um, and then property and business owners that also participated in this. We met every month for a year. Um, we met every quarter with a larger group of people that were participating across the state and really learned a lot. But we came out of that with three main goals. Um, one was marketing, marketing, marketing. And another was the rehab, and I forget to click. Megan, could you click? Thank you. And actually click one more. We'll get to it. So one of the things, the other thing, so marketing, 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 I, I think Nate said it perfectly, perception versus reality. Um, secondly was rehab of our buildings. Uh, and third was um, to try to control or purchase a building downtown Brainerd. So the first thing um, that, although the Brainerd HRA wasn't the leader in it, I think one of the things that we found really exciting as a team was that there was some marketing efforts that came out of it. Destination downtown, thanks to the chamber and all of the people that participated in that, as well as the small business revolution that also came out of the chamber's efforts. Um, for destination downtown, the Brainerd HRA felt very strongly about it and we are providing a rental subsidy to the Purple Fern to the winner. So um, that, that, I think, was some great marketing that helped our perception versus our reality, or reality versus our perception. The next thing was rehab, and the city of Brainerd, or the Brainerd HRA, on behalf of the city of Brainerd, did apply to the state for some rehab funds. We were uh, successful in getting $650,000 as a grant. This, of course, was just a small incentive to the property owners that really invested a lot more than that. We hope that our small contribution helped those kind of be able to rehab their properties. Um, with that grant, we're going to be able to rehab 19 rental units downtown Brainerd and also nine commercial properties. Um, here are some of the properties that we're assisting the, the business owners with. And then the next few slides, Megan, if you're here, if you could flip through them. So this was the, the former Blue Ox, the Sage on Laurel. Uh, Sarah's going to talk a lot more about her project next. Uh, Bridge of Harmony. Um, we assisted them with their facade improvements. Next. The Crossing Arts Alliance and the Lakes Area Music Festival, which I think has been a huge addition to our downtown. Um, Joe and Nick Phelps, who own this property, and also the Chess building that they own, which will be the former or the future Purple Fern. And then next. So with that, I am going to wrap up. I'm actually going to save a little bit of time. I do want to say that we're not stopping there. Um, again, we heard rehab as being one of the main goals for downtown. Uh, the Brainerd HRA and the City of Brainerd did submit an application uh, for Northeast Brainerd, but we also included the Iron Rail on our, um, on our next application. That application was submitted last week to the state, and we will find out about funding in May. So please keep your fingers crossed. We hope that we can help Sarah rehab the Iron Rail. 
So with that, thank you very much.